good damn afternoon, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. Give me a follow on Parlor, And you have today and manana to get all green gear 25% off. Promo code bye bye 2020, all caps. So, yesterday, bitch, I mean, Mitch McConnell, uh, was it minority leader, Senate minority leader, whatever the fuck, the rhino, um, he blocked Trump's $2,000 uh, stimulus payment to the country. Now, here is a novel idea. You guys make sure you're seated when I tell you this because this is going to blow your mind. How about you get rid of these fucking tyrannical regulations, mandates for the sweet and sour sniffles, and we can make our own money? Huh? Open up the economy, put people back to work, try to revive these small businesses that you so successfully crushed and put on life support, if not put them out of business altogether. Where I live on the south side of town, you can go down, it's called South Main Street. And you can go down the street and go, that business is closed forever, that business is closed forever, that business is closed forever. Three, four, five businesses just on a two, two block span out of business forever because of this COVID bullshit. And I got an email today. Shout out to my man, Bruce. What are we at? Over 330, 340,000 deaths from the China virus. We went to war because somebody killed 3,000 Americans. Now, I'm not saying we need to go to war, but we damn sure need to go to their front door and knock aggressively and ask for a check to cover this bullshit. That's for damn sure. So, because of this, all these businesses have failed. All these businesses have fucking died. People are dying. I posted on, uh, did I mention this in my video last night? I don't know. I can't remember. If I didn't, here it is. Um, deaths are up in Chicago. Shit, Chicago. The Rat King. What do we call the mayor of Chicago? Splinter. Mayor Splinter. If you don't know who that is, Google it. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It was a big ass rat. Because Chicago, for the sixth year running, is number one for rats. So if the bullets don't get you, the rats will. And after the bullets get you, the rats will feast on your body. Because chances are they will not find you because the overwhelming majority of homicide cases in Chicago go what? Unsolved. Code of the hood. Don't talk. But my baby, don't talk. We want justice. Don't talk. Anyway, so murders are up in Chicago. Up, I think, more than 300 compared to last year, and we're not even done. We got today and tomorrow. You think Chirac won't squeeze out a couple more 187s before the stroke of midnight 2021? How long do you think till the first murder of 2021? I'm going to set the over under at a minute. That's right. I think, here, here's my bet. Let me know in the comment section. I'm putting the over under for the first homicide of 2021 in Chicago at one minute. Meaning, do you think the number's going to be over a minute or, or, well, actually it can't be under a minute. So <laughs> we'll set at a minute. Do you think it will be a minute or more after the stroke of midnight 2021 till Chicago gets its first murder of the year? I'm going to say, a minute. That's what I think. I think before one minute past midnight, somebody will have their life taken away in Chicago. And that's a fucking shame. But my point is, people are dying because of COVID. And the, and I'm not talking about the, co the China virus. It's the mindset that you're putting people in when you lock them up in their homes. That's the problem. That's what's killing people. That's how COVID is killing people in Chicago. So I was thinking, 
So with the China virus, you put people inside. You want people to stay inside, stay away from other humans, unless you need to go for food or medical care, stay inside your house. Would you stay in a room with a sick person? If somebody's coughing and sneezing and they got a fever, are you going to stay in a small room with them? Probably not. You're going to get the fuck out of there. So was it last year for my birthday, we went to Vegas. And if you're watching, you fucking asshole, you're a piece of shit. So this dude is on the plane, and he is sick as fuck. He has a towel wrapped around his neck. He's sweating. He's coughing and hacking in this towel, and he's sitting in the back of the plane. And every time he coughs and hacks into that towel, which I'm sure is soaked with his saliva and his sneeze juice at this point, every time he coughs, you can see people, ugh. Oh, shit. Ugh, just looking back at him like, you, man, where's the eject button? Drop this dude out of this plane before he gives us all what he has. Sure enough, the next day, probably even that night when I got home, I'm already feeling it. My throat's sore. My nose is stuffed up. I got whatever that piece of shit got. If I could, I would have exited that plane because I didn't want to get sick. So you're telling me with this new thing that's supposed to be the most deadly thing since the, the bubonic plague, you want me to stay in the house. That doesn't make any damn sense. But anyway, so Trump wants the $2,000. And this is the crazy part. He agrees with Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders said the American people need that money now, not tomorrow, right now. People need their money. And that $600 is a slap in the face. And believe me, we wish we could slap you back. There should be a line of 300 million Americans waiting to slap the shit out of some of these politicians. So Trump wants us to have 2000 but apparently bitch McConnell and some of the other so-called Republicans don't either. I'm thinking, man, this passed the House? It's about to coast through the Senate. Republican majority. Nope. And see, Mitch McConnell's problem is that Trump, along with this $2,000, he wants Section 230 to be overturned. That's the protections for social media companies. That's the protection that allows them to go. You can't say that we're shutting you down. We're ruining, we're taking away your platform, which could be connected to a business, your livelihood. Fuck that. We don't like what you're saying. And when we say, but you allow them to say worse than what I'm saying. They're like, hey, what are you talking about? It's free speech. And there's no recourse. You can't go after these social media companies for fucking up your reputation and or your life or your money. Trump wants that to go and he wants it to be, well, if you can do that, then we should be able to do something about it. We should be able to have recourse. You can't be this conglomerate of fucking social media companies that are crushing the little guy. And there's nothing we can do because you're too big. No, that's not America. That's not right. This is one of the few things the government officials are supposed to do. Break up monopolies. You got one or two companies that own everything. And when we come to them with evidence that they're lying, or they're shutting down certain speech because they don't like it and promoting others, which is vile and disgusting. They say, no, that's, that's not what we do. They sit there in front of the Senate and lie under oath. Meanwhile, if we did that, man, you already know. So he wants that out of there. So if you do fuck people over and lie to them, there's recourse. There's something they can do about it. What's wrong with that? That's called fair. Is that still around in 2020? Do we still dabble in fairness? So, also, Trump wants to have a commission to look into voter fraud. Now, remember, Russia, Russia, Russia. They had their, their counsel, their independent investigator, Mueller, $50 million later, nothing. I think if we had a counsel to look into this bullshit, they will definitely come up with more than nothing. That's what he wants. They don't want that shit. Maybe because they have a part in it. Trump also wants to be able to have basically unlimited authority to bring the troops home. Who would have a problem with that? How long we've been over there playing in the fucking sandbox? How long? 
How many of those motherfuckers we taking out? Saddam, Salami, we got them all. Why are we still there? Why would you have a problem with bringing American men and women back home? Unless you're profiting or benefiting from them being there. That's the only reason, or you're an evil piece of shit, or I guess it was one and the same. Why would you have a problem with that? Why would, and also he wants to be able to rename military bases. I don't see a problem with that. You guys want to fucking rename everything else? So what if he wants to rename a military base? So what if he wants to bring the troops home? Bring them home. Stick a microphone in one of their faces. Find a soldier or a Marine or an airman who just got off the mid-watch and ask them if they want to go home. If you've been in the military, you know what the mid-watch is. It's a bitch, especially when you've been working all day and the only thing you want to do is lay down in your rack. But you can't because you have to go do mid-watch and be ready for anything, especially in a war zone. So you ask them if they want to come home. I think the answer would be, um, hell fuck yeah. Get me out of here. So Trump released a tweet saying, unless they have a death wish, and that's a quote, they will approve the $2,000 stimulus checks to the American people. Now, I don't know everything about the U.S. government, but I know that the president has some authority. And if there's somebody who can be fired for this bullshit, they will. You're about to see him do his best apprentice impersonation. You're fired. You're fired. He's about to fire some people. Heads are going to roll. And again, why would you have a problem with this shit going out? Why would you have a problem with the American people being thrown a fucking lifeline? Why? Because they forget, they lose focus. They forget who the fuck we are. We are their boss, elected officials, meaning we have to go cast votes to keep your bitch ass in office. So why let them stay in there? Mitch McConnell, and I, and I believe he just got reelected. So after this bullshit on the next go around, after he clearly shows, man, I don't give a fuck about you dumb American people. You better keep your mouth shut, your head down, and get your ass to work to generate some tax revenue so I can blow it on stupid shit like other countries. This is a pandemic. Our country has never hurt like this before, and you have the nerve to take my money and give it to somebody else. Let your wife or your husband or your kid take some money out of your wallet and give it to the family down the street. Fuck them. We need this money. You better walk outside of your fucking gaudy ass office. I went to the uh, Capitol building in Sacramento. I imagine that the way they look is echoed across the country. You've never seen such opulence. So take your ass outside of that office and look up on top of that building. Hopefully the American flag isn't still there. Hopefully you haven't replaced it with some BLM commie bullshit. Look at that flag and remember what country you're in and who you work for. Fuck every other country right now. Because if we're hurting, every other country is hurting too. We are the beacon, we are the glue, we are the fucking battery pack for the world. Take it seriously and stop fucking us over. Because someday, hopefully, we will remember who we are and we will flex that voting muscle in the fucking ballot box and send these fools packing. Last night in my video, I mentioned that Dianne Feinstein is 87 years old old she is older than fucking dirt her memories are in black and white and she is still a politician she is still a functioning elected official why are you still working at 90 
This isn't your dream job. Maybe it is, all the money you get. But you're not some regular old person doing what they love to keep them spry and active. You are in there because you owe people. Why else would you be doing this at damn near night? You should be working at 90. No 90 year old should have to work. There should be a law that says at 90, you can't work. Everything's free. If you make it to 90, shit. 87 years old. Sorry, you're too old. You're too damn old to be doing your job at a high level. Now, I'm sure some Jack LaLanne wannabe is out there saying, Jericho, I can still do a back handspring. I'm not talking about you. You're an outlier. Most 90-year-olds? No, nah, hell no. And you're a senator? No, nah, you're too fucking old. Get your ass out of there. You need to have term limits anyway. Do we need to have age limits too? This shit is ridiculous. But Trump, still there, still fighting for us. What's that dog? Hachiko, right? Yeah, hot Hachiko. This, if you don't know, it's the story of a Japanese Akita. This dog, a big ass dog too. Um, it had a, uh, an owner. And so every day it would walk with its owner to the train station. And every day, while it was waiting, while he was at work, uh, some people around there, they give him treats and they play with them. They keep him occupied, let him sleep in their shop or whatever while he's waiting for his master to come back. His master would come back. They'd meet each other and go home. Every morning, he would pet the dog and say goodbye. So one day, the owner has an aneurysm at work and he dies. So he doesn't come back on the train. But every day for nine years until that dog died, it would show up there on that platform waiting for his master to come back until he died himself. He was that loyal that, nope, tomorrow he's going to be there. Nope, tomorrow he's going to be there. And every day, rain, sleet, or snow, that dog showed up. Trump is Hachiko or Hachi. I think I'm Hachi. That's Trump. The slings and arrows, the lies, the bullshit, the disgusting names that they call him. Blocking him here, stopping him from making America as great as it can be. And he's steady showing up. Trying to steal the election from him. He's still showing up. Still fighting for us. That's why they want to get rid of him because he's fighting for us. If he was another fucking lockstep corrupt piece of shit, they wouldn't bother him. They wouldn't care because he's reading from their script. Their script includes total power for them, which is bad for us. So anyone speaking to the contrary is a problem. Look at how they treat him. Do they treat Obama like that? Of course not. He was one of their fucking henchmen. Obama was an angel. He had a what? A scandal-free presidency? Man, you better stop that bullshit. Fast and furious, anybody? Man, please. Trump's still fighting for us. Still showing up day after day despite the bullshit. That's the kind of president we need. That's the kind of president we want. That's the kind of president we fucking deserve. America first. When did that become controversial? Shit, in Mexico, you can't even own land unless you're Mexican. I like that. I don't like other countries owning our fucking land. How about this? How about we tell China all the property you bought, it's ours now. For the China virus. The sweet and sour sniffles. You owe us. That land is ours. What you, what you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I actually made a t-shirt that says that. <laughs> What are you going to do, China? Nothing. But Trump is still fighting for us. I'm not giving up. He's still my president. Are you? Can we, can we survive four years of a Biden slash Harris presidency? Can we? All the crazy shit they told us they want to do, can we survive that? No, we can't. Trump has to be our president for our fucking survival. <laughs> I 
They took people's jobs and don't want to compensate them on a national level. That's happening right now. Man, let me get over here with my beautiful wife and kids. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell because every time it rings, a piece of shit lefty cries. Get your Jericho Green notification tone link in the description box. Utilize the PayPal link and the Teespring link to get your green gear. I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.